Hello and welcome to the Villa Park podcast. It's me, Rich, and I'm back with another quick video uh, rounding up the transfer talk and transfer activity for Aston Villa over the last couple of days. Um, before we get into it, please do smash the like button, get subscribing. If you're new to the channel, we have surpassed 3,100 subscribers, so we're, we're on the road now to 4,000 subscribers. And get involved in the comments, help us continue to grow the channel that you have been so wonderful in supporting so far. So let's get into it. Um, it looks like Villa are um, closing in on their first signing. We did focus on um, this player uh, in one of the last transfer talks that I did, but Cyril Ngongi, it looks like we've agreed a transfer uh, fee of 10 million euros, so about 8.7 million pounds. Um, we're now on the brink of signing him. Uh, plays for Hellas uh, Verona at the moment, has featured 30 times this season, scoring eight goals. Um, previous to that was at Groningen, um, where he scored 10 goals in 42 games. Um, as began his career at Club Bruges, only only featuring in the first team four times before going out on loan to PSV's um, reserve team and then uh, featured for other clubs in um, in Holland, RKC Walwick, and as I say, Groningen, before um, moving to Serie A. So a player who's had quite a few moves in his young career, but um, does seem like he... Um, he is uh, a wanted man and I believe Fiorentina also interested in him. The rumours were that Fiorentina could be the club that he was preferring, but maybe Monchi is working his magic and looking to get him um, into the into the side. I think he's he's definitely he's featured for Belgium at all levels um, from under 15s through to under 19s. And I think he's been called up to the under 21s as well. So a player who's highly rated, um, <clears throat> whether he comes in and really challenges the first team is there um, is remains to be seen, but has obviously been playing in Serie A. So has obviously got some ability, um, but you guys in the chat, let me know your thoughts on, on him as a player. Um, we did we did do a little bit of a feature on him. He can play right wing. He can play attacking midfielder. He can play as a forward as well. So he does fit the profile of someone who can come in and um, you know supplement maybe an Ollie Watkins in that position, or can play out wide as well for um, you know for options whether you know for support to Bailey or Diaby. So we will wait and see. It looks as I say like we're on the brink of uh, of making that signing. Um, what do you think of it? Um, do you think he would really challenge for the first team or do you think it's more one for the future um now to support that signing it's um it could be in terms of balancing the books because we are still a little tight with ffp there is some wriggle room there is some breathing room but looks like finn azaz is on the verge of um completing a 2.5 million uh, pound move to middlesbrough um, obviously azaz has been on loan at plymouth um and has done very well this season so far um scoring seven goals uh, and five and uh, assisting assisting five goals as well um so it's had a really good uh start uh, to the season good first half of the season did well last season with plymouth as well but got a bad injury um but they wanted him back and he's, he's repaid them and now has attracted a lot of interest from clubs across the championship but it looks like middlesbrough have won, won the race for his signature so that puts 2.5 million into the coffers uh potentially where we uh, signed him i believe on a free transfer so it's um it's pure profit for that um for that sense and that will allow kind of that balancing of the books for ffp to to maybe support a signing like a, a cyril and uh as as obviously look look is a very good player. Seems like an excellent championship player. And Middlesbrough should be getting a really good player there. Um, maybe working with Aaron Danks as well as um, and rekindling that relationship might be something that um, 
they've wanted they've maybe had a connection at Aston Villa but yeah uh, and obviously Middlesbrough player uh, Villa players have done well at Middlesbrough particularly on loan Cameron Archer Aaron Ramsey so you know there's a there's a good club that they're going to um and maybe I don't know if you'll feature on uh, on Saturday against uh, against us if if the deal's done in time but as I say you know good move for him um, good move for Villa, get making money on another player, but I think maybe something that gives us a bit more wriggle room to to maybe make some moves. Um, again, you guys, let me know your thoughts in the comments on Finners. As do you think it's something that is good business, or do you think he could have maybe done a job in the first team for us? Um, I'm sure there'll be some sort of um, sell-on clause put in there as well, um, because he's still only 23, I believe. So you know, still some some. Um, some uh, growth there and still some development there for him as well. So yeah, good, um, good move for, in my opinion. Now, in terms of rumours, we really, really, uh, according to all Villa fans, need a right back uh, as an option to either surpass Matty Cash or at least put pressure on him. And the one that is most, most um, popular is uh, is Jeremy Frimpong uh, of Bayer Leverkusen. Um, everyone seems to want him, uh, who is a Villa fan. Um, but we talked about him last night on, on the fans forum with... Um, with Jack Grimes, it, make sure you check that out because it was a great fans forum. But he has played more as a right winger, um, as a, um, not necessarily a right back, and he's classed as a right wing back at the moment. But when we've talked about kind of that that balance of attacking on both flanks, you know, obviously Moreno likes to maraud forward when he plays Dina as well at times. Not maybe not quite as much attacking as a um, as a Moreno, but you know, having that ability to do it on the right hand side could be an option as well. And um, you know he's played with Musa Diaby as well and had a really good relationship with him. So that would be um, that would be a move that I think all Villa fans would be um, really would be popular with all Villa fans. Um, uh, played for Celtic. Um, he, he had his youth career at Manchester City actually. Then moved to Celtic and played 36 times, scoring three goals. And then since 2021 has been at Bayer Leverkusen, 14 goals in 85 games, uh, and has now a full cap with uh, with Holland. So very highly rated player. Um, and uh, if we look at his stats using Sofa Score. Um, <clears throat> we can see uh, and again i've compared him with matty cash we can see kind of frimpong's ratings you know that attacking ability creativity technical ability obviously cash um, scores higher on the defensive side of things but as you can see from the heat map with uh, with frimpong he is um he's you know marauds and gets into the box and as i say has played further forward as a right winger for quite a lot of times now we know that cash has played in that midfield right area so again having someone like a frimpong will will give you um, probably more quality in those attacking areas and maybe matty cash does 16 games played and um, started all those scored five goals already this season in the leverkusen team that absolutely flying um uh, five goals from inside of the box one with left foot four with the right foot six assists as well so really really productive player and i'm sure is um is is garnering the attention of many scouts out there um accuracy uh, 80% 79% in their own half 72% still in the opposition half so you know even though he likes to attack um really does um really does keep that accuracy quite high recoveries 3.6 per game so obviously uses his pace to to win the ball back for in the 40 percent for successful dribbles and ground jewels one um so yeah so uh, a you know pretty pretty good player and at 23 years of age as well you know kind of really fits a profile for for the type of player that we're, we're looking for i'm pretty sure he won't be uh, won't be cheap though so that is something to consider. Do we have the uh, do we have the uh, funds in place um, for FFP, or do we need to kind of move one or two other players on to get um, someone like Frimpong in? And are Leverkusen prepared to let him go in January? As I say, they're doing very well. So again, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Um, and finally. Um, our agent of chaos, as uh, as uh, Jack Grimes um, uh, labelled him, uh, John Duran is um, is garnering a lot of attention um, in in Italy and AC Milan. Look like they're very interested in taking him. Whether that be on loan with an option to buy, whether that be a transfer fee, which I don't think they would be able to afford, we would want to recoup, um, you know, a profit on the twenty million outlay that we've that we've spent, um, but. It, it, does it show that we're prepared to listen to offers for uh, for John Duran? They seem to like the profile of him. 
Um, is that agent talk in terms of Duran's agent trying to force um, Emery's hand to, you know, either commit to playing him more or telling him that he's part of his plans or, you know, negotiating for a better deal? I'm not so sure. But yeah, it, it, it doesn't... Um, it doesn't look like that room is going away. So there could be one or two clubs, again, interested in, in John Duran. For me, um, unless we're signing someone, or unless someone's coming in, I wouldn't want to let him go because I think he can come on and, and change, you know, certain moments in games, as we saw with Burnley. Um, but yeah, you know, the, is, he, is he a slight disruption to the camp? I'm not so sure around that. Um, he seems like a good character. Um, but yeah, is he a sign in that Emery wants to, wants to keep hold of or is he going to look to let him go out on loan um, build up his maturity get game time and maybe come back um you know a, a more developed player um but that that's it for the for the transfer update and um, thank you all for watching make sure as i said before you do hit that subscribe button and hit that like button help us spread the word of the channel get involved in the comments your thoughts on on those players that are potentially joining villa um, players that are looking to leave um, Villa as well. You know, there's a number of players potentially going out on loan as well. Lamar Bogard maybe going out on, to Championship Club on loan after Bristol Rovers. So, you know, we're looking at, you know, making one or two moves. Um, and is the uh, January window really hotting up? Um, as I say, get your thoughts in the comments. Thank you all for watching. We'll be back later this week for match preview for Middlesbrough, FA Cup, match reactions, talking tactics, you name it, we've got it. Um, so stick with the channel. And as always, remember, we all follow the Villa. Thanks, everyone.